A very, very good morning, beautiful people from all around the world. I hope you are okay. I just uh, woke up and today I decided to actually show you a little bit of what a day looks like right now. I guess we start like in the little spot that I live now, which I will show. So basically, I have my couch here. These are my groceries. This is my kitchen. It's a bit of a mess because it's a bit a lot of work for me right now, but that's okay. And here's the shower. <laughs> I can shower, sleep, and that's it. And then there's Amsterdam and the financial center all the way in the back. So what do I do in the morning? Um, I have to start, of course, with the the the. the the protocol that I'm doing, uh, which is like, well, I'll actually show you. It's all these things. I have to put like certain drops of that, of that, of that, of all these things, like in a glass of water. And I take some of these with it. And then I have to take like my, my breakfast supplements with it as well. 30 minutes before breakfast, cheerio. And my food is done. <sighs> I forgot that I have to wait 30 minutes before I can eat, so I have to bring it with me in the car. It's just getting pretty frustrating that like I just made the the food, but it's taking like like all my energy and I <sighs> it's just hard when simple things get like difficult, you know. Anyway, I am going to meet my my I'm going to meet my friend in the car and um, I will see you there on my way to the blood transfusions. So guys, there we are in the car and I'm sitting next to Willem, which I will show you. That's Willem, we traveled together in New Zealand so we have been in a car before and today the destination is a little place called Epe, which is at the other side of this country, but you just drive it in an hour because we're in Holland and it's a very small country. Let's go! Maybe it's also smart to tell left. what I'm about to do, which is uh, a blood transfusion where they insert high doses of ozone gas in my blood uh, to kill bacteria, viruses and everything because ozone is really dangerous, but when you put it in the blood and you give heparin with it, it is safe actually so which you just it just really exhausts so but first let's get there oh yeah guys another thing I don't only sleep during the night but I also sleep like five six hours during the day so I'm a very very nice and exciting travel companion these days I'm gonna do a little so this is a thing that you never really see in Holland. Sun and blue skies and no rain. Enjoy it. So guys, we have arrived at the, the clinic. It's like a, a private clinic with like a Lyme uh, doctor in the middle of the forest, somewhere in the middle of nowhere. But it's just so nice to be out of that tiny 15 square meter that I'm just spending 24 hours a day these days so to just breathe and feel the forest is like it's really nice so a little bit of goodness before the blood transfusions but hey it's for health and that's what I want so bad and yeah let's do this so guys I'm trying to remember what my last take was but I kind of forgot but anyway, I am waiting in the waiting room and looking forward to getting the needle in my arm. And I, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty tired at this point, so I can't imagine how I will feel after. But I guess there's only one way to find out. So let's have fun. It's better to keep laughing. It's the last bit of positivity that I have, but let's do it.
you guys. Um, obviously, I tried to make a video of, of the whole day and to kind of show you what what a day is like for me right now. But after the treatment, I was so so exhausted and I just couldn't like really hold hold up. I just really couldn't hold up the camera anymore. I've been like pretty much vomiting and just not feeling so so great. But it seems to be the reaction because this ozone gas kills like so many bacteria, and when they are killed, they give some kind of neurotoxin, and, and supposedly that's why you feel not so well. But anyway, I just wanted to show how many supplements I need to take and stuff. But like I just I didn't even manage to do those things today because. I skipped lunch because I was just too exhausted to make it and now I still need to make my dinner but it's just a mess so I guess you know uh, I can be open and honest that it's a real struggle now and that you all know me being so positive you know I just keep on going and all right now I'm just at a point where it's hard to touch that that positivity when things are just so such a struggle you know like when you're faced with not being able to pretty much take care of yourself you know it's but anyway let's end positive like always i can only say to every to each and every one of you just appreciate your health every single day that you get it that you have it don't take it for granted I'm going to see uh, if these ozone blood transfusions can help with like my these extreme cognitive issues that I'm having and see what other options I still have and I'll keep on fighting because we gotta win this right guys so take care ciao